Hey there, Dr. Janine Krause here. One of the most important things that I address with patients is the concept of what to do when nothing seems to be working. It can be heartbreaking. It can be frustrating. It can be downright just awful for you and for us as practitioners because we want you to get better. But we always have to go back to the basics, the five foundations clean air, clean water, clean food, clean medicine, motion. Are you doing these five things on a daily basis? So making sure that you've got your water filtered. It doesn't always have to be the fancy system coming into the house. I'm talking about just something like a Berkey that sits on your countertop. I'm also talking about air. The basics, are you breathing clean air in your home? Have you cleaned your air filter? If you're renting your place, can you clean your air filter? Can you put a new one in? Is there mold in your home? What's going on in your environment around your house? Do you maybe need to be cleaning your air filter monthly versus every three to six months? Same thing goes for your filter on your water in your kitchen. That is a big one there to be paying attention to. One, what, what does it filter? But two, when's the last time you changed it? Most people only change it every few months. I'm in the camp of maybe you need to be changing a little bit more. Now, air. We've got the whole concept about how you breathe also into this. Because unfortunately, a lot of us are not breathing well. We're over breathing or short breathing. This is a problem because if you are not giving your body the signals for carbon dioxide to build up enough, you're not getting a little uncomfortable, your tissues will not release oxygen, or your bloodstream will not release oxygen to your tissues. This is a problem. So I highly recommend monitoring the air that you're breathing, but also taking a look at how well you breathe. There's even apps out there now and all kinds of sensors that can tell you how good your air quality is in your home. Even the levels of carbon monoxide do make a difference. I have found that sometimes folks will put a carbon monoxide sensor in their home they hadn't had one before for one reason or other, and all of a sudden that thing goes off. Of course, all of the work we've been putting in wouldn't work if they didn't have clean air. Something to think about. So, water, air, medicine. What does this mean by clean medicine? Well, this day and age when folks are chronically ill, but also looking for alternatives, we have the marijuana industry booming. And now that it's legalized in a lot of states, we have regulations in terms of how things are packaged, how they are put into milligrams. But guess what? The growing process of marijuana is actually quite gross, to be honest, and toxic. So if you're using products, even CBD, I mean, the CBD industry is quite disgusting, straight up honest. Check out, I have a podcast on this specific subject when I interview Inessa Pomovari Vite, and it's, I can't remember if it's in my exact episode, but it's in my YouTube channel. If you're interested, it's Inessa's Hemp, check it out. But medicine makes a difference. How clean are the supplements you're taking? How clean are the herbs that you're using? Because if you're buying cheap supplements and you're buying on at major retailers you are not getting the quality that you could be getting so do your homework on that i have a video in my youtube series on how to find quality supplements check it out same thing goes for your herbs same thing goes for, for your cbd cbd is extracted very let's put it this way in some cases consciously other cases the the lesser you pay for the product the more chemically uh, extracted it is and those chemicals get to you you want to be thinking about that same thing goes about alcohol if you're using it for medicine you are toxifying your body I don't care if it's wine yeah there's resveratrol you know how many bottles of wine you have to drink to actually get an antioxidant effect mm -hmm. too many don't worry about it quality medicine huge there something to be thinking about the other foundation that I mentioned was motion that is a huge component of things as well, making sure that you're moving every day. Now, it's another component of when things aren't working, sometimes I change up how someone's moving. We're gonna talk about that in a second. 
The other big thing in terms of clean is food. You want to be paying attention to your food. It does matter. Who grew it? How was it grown? What was it fed? Free range chicken, poultry, all those things do matter. And how much time on the range? Same thing goes for grass fed, grass finished beef, wild caught fish, etc., etc. You want to know where your food came from, how it was processed, if any additives were added to it. All of these things can be impeding your ability to get results. Get the basics down, huge factor. Another one, mindset. And this might be one of my biggest pet peeves about my industry. The functional medicine, the naturopathic medicine, all of this industry really does highlight folks taking charge of their health. But sometimes we also highlight the illness mindset, being stuck in that particular realm. This can be a huge problem, especially when so much of your identity is wrapped around being ill, being sick. You want to be thinking about this. What is your first thought every morning when you wake up? If it has to do with how am I going to feel today? You already are setting the tone that you're going to have issues for that day. So I highly recommend when things aren't working, you want to check your mindset and you want to think about changing the first thought of the day. Now this may sound super cheesy and I'm not Miss Susie Sunshine by any means, but it's taken me a while to really embrace the fact that you know what, when it comes down to things not working, a lot of times it has to do with you and your mindset and how you're thinking about things. Because if you keep telling your body, you're, it's sick, it's sick, it's sick, it's fat, it's fat, it's fat, it's gross, whatever it may be, you're tired, you're no good, all of this is gonna stick in your brain and your cells. And they are going to embody that. And that's gonna become your whole world. And when you're trying so hard to change things and nothing's working, you got to go back internally and be like, okay, what am I attracting? What am I putting out there? What am I telling myself? First thought of the morning sets you off right. We can go into visualizations, things of that nature. That's a different video. But for this one, mindset, start thinking about it. The other thing about when things are not working is you want to be thinking about your fitness routine. And what I'm talking about is one, are you having fun with what you do? Two, are you actually challenging your body? Are you overachieving or underachieving? Some people will tend to bust out hit workouts day in, day out, trying to lose weight. Maybe they'll do two a days. Of course, that's not going to work. You're going to wear yourself out. But targeted heart rate challenges can be extremely helpful because you can push your mitochondria to build. You can push your body to build more in those muscles at certain target heart rates but you're gonna need to recover after that for a day or two. And then you can go back up and then you can spike that heart rate once, twice a week, depending on your fitness capabilities. But if all of what you're doing in those different challenges with the heart rate, say you're already doing it, but you're bored, it might not work. You gotta have fun. You gotta have fun with the fitness. And so looking at how you can change your fitness routine to help you get past plateaus, to get you feeling better. I have tons of videos in my YouTube channel about this, but I wanted to highlight that because it is frustrating when you feel like you're doing all the things and nothing is working. Everything comes with inside you. You want to be thinking about you are in control of your health. You're starting to take charge of your health. Your thought process, you can take charge of that too. And that is where you get a lot of change. So when nothing else is working, you're super frustrated, take a look inward, see what your thoughts are, see what your first thought of the day is, switch that bugger. All right, stay tuned for more videos just like this one. I'm Dr. Janine Krause. Thanks for watching and by all means, subscribe if you like this info and you want to learn more from me.